Let's use your knowledge of rectangles to explore the area of a parallelogram. So here we have a rectangle, and let's pretend it's filled up with some two-dimensional liquid, this blue stuff. Let's make a copy of it, and let's modify the area by pulling this right side in a little bit. So now I have a smaller rectangle. The area has decreased, so if I pour the original two-dimensional liquid in there, it's now going to overflow because the area is smaller now. Let's go back, let's make another copy, and now let's increase the size of this rectangle a little bit. Now if I pour this two-dimensional liquid in there, it's not going to fill up all the way because now this new area is larger. So let's go back, let's make a copy, and now let's do something slightly different. Let's keep the base the same and the height the same, but let's skew this top over to create a parallelogram. And now the question is, what has happened to the area? So if you think the area has decreased, then you think that the water is going to overflow when we pour this in. If you think that the area stays the same, then it's going to fill perfectly. And, or if you think that the area maybe has increased, then it's not going to fill up all the way. So which one do you think? All right, now let's carry out the experiment. Let's pour this two-dimensional liquid in and see what happens. It filled up perfectly. That means the new area is the same as the old area. Why is that? Well, notice there's this triangle on the right side. If we cut that off and we move this triangle over to the left, we can recreate the original rectangle. So this rectangle is the same as the old rectangle. So here's the base and here's the height. So we know that the area of this rectangle is base times the height. What we just showed is that if we maintain the base and the height, all parallelograms, no matter how we skew this, even if we skew it really far over, the area stays the same. The area is always base times height for a parallelogram. Now with your 3D printer, you can print out a 3D manipulative where you can verify this and explore this yourself. Here's the 3D printed manipulative for exploring the area of parallelograms. So we've got three separate rectangles that have, they're all the same area, they all have the same base and height, and they're cut in different ways so that we can form three different parallelograms. Let's take a look. Here's the first parallelogram. Here's the second parallelogram. And here's the third parallelogram. They all have the same base, the same height, and therefore they all have the same area.